Hey guys, this is Taped Grape, and yesterday, while well, I tried starting the Lumina, I don't know if I stopped turning the starter quick enough, but it went pluh, 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 and then I tried it a few times, still wasn't working. I'll show you here in a second, see if it'll start or not. 20 minutes later, I tried again, still wouldn't work. Today is the next day, and let's see if it'll start. So as I said, I haven't even started it yet today. Oh man. It sucks if it ain't one thing, it's another. See? Nothing. I have no idea what it could be. I hear the fuel pump go on when I turn the key on. Perhaps it could be weak. I don't know. Perhaps it could be a spark issue. Perhaps it could be bad injectors. I really don't know. Let's try it one more time. I don't want to flood the engine, which I was afraid of I, that I did last night, but I don't know. Even tapping the accelerator. Nothing. So I'm not going to continue to do that. Well, surprise, surprise. I had Annoy Motors. Thank you again. I'll link your channel in the description. Go check him out. But anyway, he helped me out, um, as he always does. Got it started. Um, had to hold the pedal to the floor. Started. I tried doing that, but I was too much of a wimp to, you know, continuously do it. <laughs> but he got it started for me. So it's not a fuel pump like I thought it might have been, um, but uh, it could be a sensor going bad. He said, I believe, I believe he said the idle air control valve, correct me if I'm wrong, he said that one sounded like it was working good because it was uh, idling or maybe it was some other sensor he said, I can't recall. But perhaps, I mean, it's a 31-year-old car, so some sensor's probably going bad on it or something. And... Uh, well, it's running and driving now. We already, you know, let it run, shut it off, started it back up. So I'm hoping I don't have any, you know, major further issue with it. I'm sure it'll happen occasionally, but if I can get it started again and still drive it, that's all that matters. The Lumina, I'm sorry, the Lumina, not the Lumina, what the heck is that? The Lumina uh, survives. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this is the next day after that. So two days after the initial beginning portion of the video, car sat overnight. Let's see if it starts up again by itself. I'm not going to tap the accelerator unless I absolutely have to. Let's see what happens. I hear the fuel pump. I'm going to prime it a second time. There we go. I had to tap the accelerator. I'm not liking that too much, to be completely honest. I don't like that I have to do that. That's definitely something I'm going to have to get fixed because I do not like that. Especially if, I mean, I'm lucky I was able to get it done this time. I, I want a reliable vehicle that I don't have to worry about that, you know. So I'll have to take it to the shop when I can afford it. <laughs> Until then, I guess I'm stuck doing it. But oh yeah. I think once it warms up and you drive it a little bit, it, it starts right up. Well, because it does. I tested it yesterday. Um, after it's been warmed up, but after it sits overnight, it had to redo it, but, oh yeah. Well, I just started it up later in the afternoon with no issue, so perhaps it's just a first thing in the morning kind of issue. Still want to get it checked out eventually, because I don't know if I'll be able to every morning be able to start it. I guess at the very least, if I park it up at home, at least I'll still be stuck home, but if I'm stuck at work, then it's going to suck just like when the doors froze, but oh yeah. 